Open banking fundamentally is about driving competition into the provision of financial services for consumers and for businesses. Um, and three principles really underpin it. One is the real-time sharing of transactional data, i.e. your bank statement. Secondly, um, real-time initiation of payments. So at the moment you might uh, pay for something through your debit card or your credit card. Um, open banking will open up the market to other organisations to initiate payments for you. And the third element to it is um, provision of information on products and services and in association with that customer service levels um, to enable comparison between products and services to take place. So that's fundamentally what open banking is all about. Um, and the idea is that um, it will enable new services to come to market provided by new organisations outside of the established banks um, to service customers in relation to a whole variety of different potentially new services that customers could consume. What change will open banking bring? I think there will be many changes, but fundamentally it's about opening up access to your transaction information to organisations that previously you wouldn't have shared this data with. And in association with that, there are a whole range of new compliance and governance issues which need to be looked at and addressed to help protect the interests of consumers. So fundamentally issues of security, um, fun, uh, of governance, so understanding what's happened to your data um, and helping consumers extract value from the data because many customers do, just really don't understand the value that could um, be associated with their transaction information. And um, in association with that, um, a qualifying identity of those individuals to make sure that the organisations who are sharing data are bona fide organisations um, and have the right governance and security processes in place to safeguard the interests of consumers. Qualifying that the customer who is um, agreeing to, uh, to share their data is who they say that they are. And that maybe the device through which they're actually agreeing to uh, share their data with a third party um, is actually a bona fide device. So issues such as fraud come to the, um, come to the forefront and association with that uh, data breach um, and maintain the privacy of customers. So there's some quite serious issues for customers but also for organisations in terms of how they protect customers fundamentally and also then extract, help them extract value from the data. And in association with that, get better value products and services because going to the heart of this is actually trying to create services that are better value for customers in the long run. At the moment, the focus is around um, getting value from um, comparison of current accounts. Um, and that's for both um, uh, commercial organisations, so businesses, and for consumers. Um, but it's very clear that that will soon migrate into other areas. So, for example, it could be around sharing data to get a loan. And that could be for a mortgage, or it could be for um, a small amount and unsecured loan. It could be for a, for a new credit card. Um, it could be uh, to help you manage your payments if you're a small business. So there are a whole range of new, potentially new applications that might come to market, which will be digitally driven. So a lot of this is also happening over the, over the internet um, in real time, uh, which will involve customers engaging with applications which sit on your phone or maybe your tablet, and all happens in real time.